a lot of times experiments in science or discoveries look like accidents. But they're only accidents in the sense that we were trying to find something else and then we realized that what we had was better for a different application. Graphene is a single layer of carbon. It's one of the strongest materials ever known and it's completely flexible. The discoverers of graphene won the Nobel Prize in 2010. However, the method they used to make it, which was taking graphite and peeling it with scotch tape, is not practical. So we set out to find a better method. We start with graphite oxide, which is a water dispersible material. We then coat it onto sheets of plastic. We hit it with a light from a laser. Deoxygenates, it turns it into graphene. So it felt very exciting because we made all organic graphene in a very simple process using a consumer grade DVD drive that you can find everywhere. But the real discovery was yet to come. I think the eureka moment that you're looking for was not exactly that. The real exciting discovery came when Maher dragged me into the lab. And he said, take a look at this. And he just took a light bulb and he just turned it on with this little piece of graphene. But the amazing thing is, it doesn't stop working. After charging for two or three seconds, he ran this light for over five minutes. I thought we have something very important. I, I thought the world changed at that point. Okay, let's, let's talk about the future. Batteries have a bad reputation, but what we're working on are supercapacitors. And supercapacitors you can think of as a charge storage device like a battery, except it charges and discharges 100 to 1,000 times faster. A battery stores a fair amount of charge, but it charges and discharges slowly. A capacitor puts out a high output, but it doesn't store much charge. So like the flash to a camera, a supercapacitor is one which combines the best attributes of both. If you think about all the electronic devices you have, right now, every time you need one, you realize, oh, I forgot to charge it up. But imagine if you could take that same device, plug it in the wall for 30 seconds or a minute, and be ready to go. Life would be very different. And eventually, we'll get to things like electric vehicles. Now, you pull into a gas station. Well, you'd pull into a charging station, and within a minute, it would charge up your car. If you think of batteries, batteries are all composed of a lot of metals, often they're toxic metals. And so in fact, you're not allowed to throw a battery away. But if you had something that's carbon-based, it wouldn't matter. Carbon-based, you could put it in your compost bin and use it to grow vegetables. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a scientist. And so my goal has always been to develop something that will change people's lives. <laughs>